Now, I don't know. Cheers, everyone. I don't know what it feels like to get high on drugs and, you know, uh, feel great, you know, doing that. I've, I've never done any drugs. Uh, never interested in me. I've always kind of been, um, I've always been interested in self-improvement, getting to the NBA when I was a kid, right? That's the earliest thought was playing professional football and then transforming into basketball. So I don't really know what it feels like to get high on drugs because uh, I always felt like that would deter me away from my main goal. Uh, but my God, does it feel good to get absolutely exhausted from training. Um, you know, after the session, you feel so good sitting, relaxing, just at peace. Even if you have some noise in your mind that bothers you, it's almost like you can't even mount a response to think about those things. It's just, it's like a whatever feeling, you know? It's a great, great feeling. This is what I think, you know, people that don't train, that they miss out on, they don't have that release. You know, that release is, is what we, I think, get hooked on with the training. Yeah, sure, the progress is great and seeing the body transform, seeing that the things change around you, that's all well and good. But I think that stress release is what we really get high on. Um, you know, I'm thinking about childbirth now, you know, with my, my wife, you know, two kids. What makes somebody want to come back and do it again after going through something like that? You know, it's that, it's that emotional, that feeling afterwards, after that stimulus, after that stressor, there's like a avalanche of, of good hormones, good feeling, you see your daughter or son, it's like that emotional kind of like, this is all worth it. You know, we're training while you're doing the set, you know, while you're doing the reps, it's not, you know, fun. You know, there's a lot of discomfort. Uh, but then afterwards, once you kind of catch your breath and your blood pressure returns to normal and whatnot, it just feels freaking great. I don't do this often, uh, but it is holiday season. I'm, I'm drinking Bex. I don't know if some of you guys out there that know your beer. This wasn't even cold. It was just out here, left over from the celebrations we've had in the last week, week or two. We had ice in the bucket, but anyway, it's not even in the fridge, so I'm drinking a warm beer, which is not the greatest, but it's going down really well. It's like, it was basically 40 degrees today. So I trained in the heat. Uh, and this is going down really nice. I don't know what it is about beer. It's not even that tasty, but my God, it's refreshing. Even when it's warm, it's, it's weird. A lot of you guys uh, ask me, do I drink alcohol? I do. It's not a regular occurrence in my life. Uh, basically, I would never, very, very rare occasion would I sit here and drink a beer by myself. This never usually happens. Uh, but today, my parents were over uh, and they were basically, you know, relaxing, you know, having coffee and chilling out while I was working out. So I was kind of going to and from them. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'll have a drink after. Uh, they've, they've left since, but it's good. Sometimes it's really, really good to sit down and relax um, and enjoy it. I think this year, 2023, for me, is going to be a little bit more relaxed. I'm not going to stress about, you know, certain things anymore, especially the hobby that I, that I love, which is this. I'm going to put in the work every single day and, and that's it. Um, this year, I decided I was going to, you know, hunt the accessory lifts, the accessories, push-ups, pull-ups, dips, uh, half squatting. You know, in the last few days, I've been doing lunges, reverse lunges. Uh, the days before that, I was doing those box squats slash bench squats, whatever you call them. I'm putting all of my resources into that and I'm touching the bar as you saw, as you're gonna see now. Uh, 180 for one work up to that and that's it. For the, for the calisthenics side of things, what I'm basically doing is down sets. So the other day I did 25 down with the, with the dips. I was doing 25 down, so 25, set of 25, set of 24, set of 23, all the way to one. Which out to be, I forget now, I mean, 325 reps or something, 320 or something like that. Today I did uh, chin-ups and I did from 15 down, so 15, 14, 13, 
all the way down. That works out to 120, I think it is. Uh, it's just a really, really great setup. You know, it really motivates me to put the work in because as you're fatiguing, your workload is also kind of decreasing as well. So there's, a, there's like an uplift, uplifting moment after each set, knowing that when you come back, you don't have to repeat the same thing. You can just go to like a one you know, rep less and just, it's a mental thing. You feel like you're gaining on something. It's, it's a really strange feeling, but it's working for me. These reverse pyramid sets, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's really working well for me. So yeah, man, it's uh, just get after that, get the reps in. You know, for years I've been telling you guys there's something about reps. I don't know what it is, man. It just, it makes me feel good. Everything feels good. Like doing these lunges today, I did, I was holding 10 kilo plates and I did um, uh, 10 sets of 20. 10 sets of 20, so 10 each leg, basically every set. Uh, holding the, the two, two plates, 10 kilos. Legs feel great, hips feel great, you know. And, and then, so I did that after I did the pull-ups, the chin-ups. So right now I'm feeling like I've done everything. I'm just relaxed, enjoying it. It's just a bloody beautiful feeling, man. I almost feel sorry for the people that don't do this, that don't kind of get after it. Uh, that don't do anything physical. Like, how do you fall asleep, man? How do you relax? How do you unwind? I guess this is what people do. They come home, they sit out in, in the backyard and they guzzle a couple of these every night. I guess some even um, get drunk every night. Because one thing I know is I think it's a brutal thing to say, but life is kind of shit a lot of the time. Lots of stress, really you know, difficult to navigate all this stuff. Really hard to kind of work your way through some situations. Um, so I feel like we all need a stress reliever. Um, and there's many different things people do, you know. But for me, take what nature gives you, man. Go into the nature, number one. Uh, number two, train. There, there's literally the stuff that you need to feel good is in here it's all in here you just have to release it you just have to release it working out is it's a beautiful thing especially for men i've said this in the past man like if you're a dude in your 20s 30s freaking in your 70s whatever the, the, the case might be man there needs to be something man you need to exert yourself uh -huh. because you know a lot of people say oh testosterone is a, it's a really important element in people's lives well, is it the chicken or the egg? Why would your body release testosterone if you're sitting around all day eating chips, potato chips and watching TV? Why the hell would somebody have a high testosterone count doing that? I believe I can control some of that. Get out into the nature, into the sunlight, work out, work out, and your body's going to change for the environment, for the lifestyle that you're living. And then you might have a high, high testosterone count. You know, people are like, nah, 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 just get on TRT. I bet you do some basics, man. I mean, everyone's so freaking hasty to get on, on, on artificial crap. Why don't you just fix your lifestyle out? And I don't think there's anything better than being out in the sunlight, you know, doing whatever you want to do. There's a billion freaking exercises. Do whatever, do something, whatever it might be, man. If you're into curling every day and having the biggest biceps, do that. I don't really care. No one really cares. No one cares, dude. Even if you're really good at bicep curling or bench pressing or squatting, nobody cares. That's one thing I've learned. Now, there's a quote, I think it was Winston Churchill, with, uh, Churchill's quote, I'm going to butcher the hell out of this, but it goes something along the lines of, in your 20s, you think everyone is paying attention to what you're doing. In your 30s, you realize, or in your 40s, you realize only a few people realize uh, are paying attention to what you're doing in life. And then it's something like, there's a few of these lines. And then it gets to like, when you're 70, you realize that no one ever gave a shit, basically. No one ever really cared about what you're doing. Everyone's just self-consumed thinking about what they are doing. No one really cares, dude. So, whatever it is, powerlifting, oh, you know, bench, squat, it doesn't matter, man. Do whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. Don't follow rules. Whatever it takes for your mind to get out of here and do some work, do that. Whatever. If you want to wash beer down, you said do that. Whatever, whatever. Just get, get some work done. Uh, it's certainly a lot better than sitting 6 p.m. 7 p.m. doing this every single night to get you know get to sleep or whatever whatever people end up doing i mean even this for me is i mean it feels great because it's like a treat but if this is if this is part of your life if this is if you need this to live i don't know man 
This would have been nice if it was colder. I feel like I'm drinking piss. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I'm just gonna continue sitting here and just relaxing, thinking about how I'm gonna squat tomorrow, <laughs> and uh, enjoy the journey. Anyway, guys, appreciate all of you guys, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.